Hey everybody, Brendan Coates here in front of the whiteboard. And in today's video, I wanna be talking about leaky gut and how it's absolutely destroying your testosterone, also known as your sex hormones, also known as your gains in the gym. If you don't know who I am, my name is Brendan. I'm also known as the Gut Whisperer. And I help people restore their gut health all while fixing their main issues. Let's say you've got constipation. You're not taking poops regularly, every day. Or maybe you've got loose, watery stools like diarrhea. That's not normal. Maybe you've got bloating. Like every day at three o'clock in the afternoon after one meal, you just blow up. It looks like you're three months pregnant. That too, is not normal. Maybe you've got brain fog, low energy, low libido. Maybe you're forgetting things. Maybe you're even depressed, or maybe you've got anxiety. Maybe you've been diagnosed with ADHD. Maybe you really just have like skin issues or you've got an autoimmune condition. Every single one of those things that I listed and many, many more are expressions of a leaky gut. And so I'm gonna explain in this video what leaky gut is, and then I'm gonna explain why it's affecting your testosterone. I'm gonna talk about the building blocks, a little bit of testosterone, and then we're gonna go into the whole signaling pathway. And if you stick with me all the way to the end, I'll share with you how you can fix this issue, because it's not normal. Like, we should all be having good levels of testosterone. And I'm seeing guys in their like low 20s, they've got low testosterone. That's not normal. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to fix your leaky gut, in turn, how you're going to naturally increase your testosterone levels. So let's dive right in. So first and foremost, what's leaky gut? You gotta understand that the, the gut acts as a two-part barrier. It's a dual barrier. One, it absorbs nutrients from the foods that we eat. Whatever we're eating, the gut's job is to absorb them, distribute them, and then put them into the body. As well, it's supposed to prevent things from invading into our systemic bloodstream. What does that look like? Well antigens, bacteria, viruses, chemicals, food additives, as well as undigested foods. They don't belong. And so what does that look like? Well, those things, they can eventually, or essentially invade in between the permeable gut into the bloodstream, causing an immune response. And that's what this is. When the body is sort of fighting things that don't belong, it's putting a tax and it's putting a burden on the body. Okay, so now you know what leaky gut is. And it's also job essentially to continue to allow that food to get broken down more and more and more, and then ultimately turned into poop, exit, waste, or everything that we absorb. Now, why does this affect our testosterone, our sex hormones, our muscles, even our ability to think? So first, let's talk about testosterone. Where is it made from? Because we've got to understand like, what is composed of testosterone. So first, testosterone is, and I'm gonna like, I'm gonna really break this down into like a Cole's Notes or a Cliff's Notes. So three parts, there's free testosterone, which makes up about three to 4% of the testosterone. Then we've got SHGB, which is sex hormone, oops, BG, binding globulin. And basically that sort of allows the testosterone to be released in the right fashion. If we've got too much testosterone, that could be a problem. So SHBG, sex hormone binding globulin, basically prevents and it allows that proper distribution of testosterone to be absorbed. And then finally, we've got albumin bound testosterone and that's another component of testosterone. So really it's broken down into three parts. Now, where is testosterone produced? Cause you gotta know this stuff. So first, why don't we ask ourselves how does this whole mechanism work? Well, it happens in the brain first and foremost. The brain within our hypothalamus, the hypothalamus now triggers the rest of the body to sequence into testosterone production. So I'll just break it down here. The hypothalamus creates and releases a hormone called ganotropin releasing hormone. And then what that does is that goes down and signals to the pituitary to release FSH and LH follicle stimulating hormone, and then luteinizing hormone. And then those hormones travel down the vagus nerve into essentially the testes, where the testes then build all of the testosterone from the building blocks, but it needs the mechanisms and it needs the pathways first. So that's what this is. And 
this is a whole different video, but if you understand the autonomic nervous system, that whole sequence is governed by the autonomic nervous system. So here's just a drawing. So we've got our brain, provided that we've got a good functioning, healthy brain, and it's being fueled by all of the right nutrients, and it's being hydrated properly, there will be proper communication and signaling in the brain, right? So brain goes down, hypothalamus. Hypothalamus produces the ganotropin releasing hormone, which then goes down into signaling to the pituitary. The pituitary then releases follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone, which then travel down the vagus nerve into the testes, which then produce testosterone. Now, what are the building blocks of testosterone? We need the building blocks. And again, I'm going to break this down super, super condensed, but ultimately the liver is what's responsible for a lot of the production of cholesterol. And cholesterol is responsible largely for the building blocks of testosterone. So liver function, it produces and releases cholesterol. What are some of the micronutrients that are composed of cholesterol, vitamin D, zinc, magnesium, B vitamins, folate, vitamin A. There's 90 essential nutrients. Our body needs all 90. So to say that those are more important than others, it's kind of like a fallacy. You can't say that the body needs all of them, but those are just some of the focused ones that I'm talking about. We need to understand that we need a properly functioning liver in order to produce the building blocks of testosterone. We need high functioning gut to prevent invading toxins and pathogens from putting attacks on the body as well as we need to be properly eating good quality foods to provide the building blocks for testosterone so let's continue if you've got leaky gut undigested foods fried foods nutrient depleted foods all of those lead to the damage of your intestinal barrier what happens if you've got damage to the intestinal barrier well Pathogenic exposure happens. Things that don't belong essentially invade via the cells that line the gut into the bloodstream, causing an immune response, causing excessive inflammation. When the body starts to attack those things that don't belong through a natural immune response, the body will start to attack its own tissue sort of by accident, kind of like collateral damage. And what that happens, now you've got systemic inflammation, you've got a leaky gut, and now, because of that systemic inflammation, now you're getting a serious burden and tax on the brain. And I'll explain that just shortly. Toxic overload stress. The foods that you're eating, some of the foods that you should not be eating, chemicals, pops, artificial sweeteners, things that really disrupt the microbiome, all of those put an elevated level of stress on the body, as well as an increase of antibodies because they're attacking those things that don't belong within the body. Then increase of cortisol starts to happen because cortisol is a stress hormone. And so yes, the foods that you eat or the foods that you don't eat, the things that you're exposed to do cause stress on the body and that will increase a stress hormone, cortisol. And cortisol absolutely devours testosterone. As well, cortisol, elevated stress on the liver. Continuous stress on the liver will cause further systemic stress, systemic inflammation throughout the body. The liver becomes overstressed, overworked, resulting in sometimes non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, sometimes toxic bile, sometimes gallstones, sometimes reduced ability to metabolize fats because bile is produced by the liver, stored in the gallbladder. And if you've got a non-functioning or improperly functioning liver, you're gonna have toxic bile, you're gonna have improper fat metabolism, which means you're gonna have decreased cholesterol production. You're not gonna have good quality cholesterol. You're going to have the bad cholesterol, which then that in turn is going to be imbalanced sex hormones. Does that make sense? Are you following the whole process? Let's connect everything. If you've got a leaky gut, you've also got a leaky brain. And what does that mean? If you've got systemic assault from the gut going into the body, you've got all these undigested foods and chemicals and things that don't belong. They're floating around the bloodstream. The immune system is attacking all of those things. Well, guess what? There's something called a blood brain barrier and those pathogens, those things, metals, chemicals that don't belong. If they're floating around the body, do you not think for one second that they're penetrating into the brain as well? You're darn right. They are. They're causing excessive inflammation in the brain. They're causing damage in the brain. And so guess what? 
If you've got inflammation in the brain, which is very hard to detect, right? You don't really know. You maybe just chalk it off as headaches or you chalk it off as forgetfulness or is you just chalking it off as depression or just low energy brain fog. But you don't really know because like, if you've got inflammation in the elbow, you know it's a sore elbow, but you don't really associate a sore brain with inflammation in the brain. But if you've got a leaky gut, you've got a leaky brain. And guess what? If you've got an inflamed brain, you have compromised hypothalamus function. You have compromised pituitary. You have a compromise in the communication from the vagus nerve down to the testes to produce testosterone. All while we already know that the body is super taxed and toxic and it's not even producing healthy quality cholesterol, which means the building blocks aren't even there to properly produce testosterone. So you've got this whole negative feedback loop happening all from what's on the end of the fork, your improper chewing habits, you're drinking excessively with meals, you're not chewing again, you've got these undigested foods in your stomach, they're eventually leaking into the body through the leaky gut into the bloodstream, causing an immune response, causing systemic inflammation, causing your brain to be inflamed, all of that just continuously perpetuates until you fix it, until you stop the assault. You've gotta stop the assault. So that's why I've created GFL. GFL is a six week course completely done for you where I hold your hand every step of the way to not only fix the assault, fix the systemic inflammation, whatever issues that you're presenting with, we can fix that, but we're also going to heal the body. We're going to seal the leaky gut. We're gonna get rid of all those toxins. I've helped thousands of people around the world, literally thousands. I've got hundreds and hundreds of testimonials. So if this resonates with you, there's a fix. We can naturally increase your testosterone without going the route of synthetics and getting TRT and getting injected by needles every single week because that's not fun. Been there, done that. I'm natural now, thank God. And I've, I've been able to increase my testosterone naturally, no more needles. I'm not doing that ever again. So again, my name is Brendan. I'm the Gut Whisperer. There's a link right here below where you can register, watch the webinar, and then you can enroll in my six-week course. It's called GFL. It is an absolute game changer. It's an accelerator and it will be perfect for you. I guarantee I'll see you on the next video module. Oh, and by the way, don't forget, hit a like, hit a subscribe. I'm always trying to put out good quality information that you will benefit from. So again, hit a like, hit a subscribe. I'll see you in the next video module.